This is Tammy from the Sycamore Public Library. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Waldorf star out of tissue paper. There are lots of different patterns for Waldorf stars, some of them more difficult than others. This one is fairly simple, and when you are finished, you can hang it in a sunny window and it will brighten up your day. To make this Waldorf star, you're going to need an 8 by 8 inch square of tissue paper of any color, a bottle of white glue, a scrap of cardboard or an index card, and a few toothpicks, some sharp scissors, and a roll of double-sided tape. We're going to start with a square of tissue paper, 8 inches by 8 inches. Waldorf stars are typically made with kite paper, which is a little bit heavier it coated on both sides and holds the color better in the sun. But since most people don't have kite paper in the house, we're going to use tissue paper. It's a little more fragile and it will fade in the sun. Um, but I will put links to sources of kite paper in the description of the video. So if you want to invest in that, you may. What we're going to do is we're going to cut this square into eight two inch by four inch rectangles. So if you happen to have a rotary cutter and a mat available, you may go ahead and do it that way if you'd like. It is faster. But again, I know most people don't have that in their house. So what we're going to do, fold it in half. And always try to get the edges as even as you can and crease it. Pretty, pretty good crease on this because you're going to need to see it. Turn it around and fold it the other direction. We're going to open it up. I'm going to get our scissors and we're going to cut on those creases until we have four squares. And if you feel more comfortable using a ruler and a pencil, feel free to do so. So now we have four squares. We need to cut each one of these in half. So again, fold it in half. Crease it. Cut it. And do this with all four squares so you have eight pieces. There are lots of Waldorf star patterns out there. This is a pretty simple one. It's not quite the simplest, but it's very simple. And again, I will put links to other patterns in the description. So if you are ambitious, you can try a more difficult one.
Okay, here's our eight rectangles. The next step is to fold them. So you want to fold the first rectangle in half. Instead of creasing it all the way across this time, you're going to crease it just on the edges, about an inch. And then you're going to fold it up from that center line, line your edge up on the center line, and crease it. Fold the other side up to form a triangle. That's what you have. Flip it around. Do the same on the other side. On this side, you're going to do an additional fold. You're going to fold it in again, just like you did before, along the center line, trying to keep the point and keeping it as straight as you can. So there's our first star point right there. I'm going to do the same thing with all eight pieces. Crease it about an inch each edge. Fold it along that center crease. on both short edges. And fold one edge a second time. Again, lining it up along that center crease. As you can see, tissue paper is rather difficult to work with. The kite paper is easier to fold. It's a little sturdier. Okay, I don't like that one. I'm going to try to straighten it a little bit. Star point number two. Continue until you have all eight pieces folded. There we go, we have eight star points, and our next step is to glue. The next step is to glue down all the points that you just folded. I am going to use white glue and a toothpick. You need very, very small amounts of glue. You can use a glue stick if you'd like, but you have to be very careful that you don't get the, too much glue on your fingers, and then they start sticking to the pieces. Um, I'm going to recommend just white glue and a toothpick. Take your scrap of cardboard or your index card and just put a little glob of glue down there. Again, you don't need very much glue, just a little bit. And you want to put a little bit of glue on each corner of your folded piece. And then just press it down. When I do these double folded layers, I try to get both layers with the glue.
Don't need much glue. Tissue paper is very thin. You do want to make sure you have a glue that dries clear. Most white glues do, I believe. If you end up a little piece that's sticking out, just kind of tuck it under. There we go. All eight of our pieces are glued. So we have all eight of our points glued down. The next thing to do is put our star together. Take another dab of glue on my index card. And if your glue gets dried up or runs out, just get some more out. Now what you're going to do here is we're going to glue them together. And you're going to line up the points at the bottom and along the center. And you can kind of center it from the top piece, and you can see underneath, too. You can see how the line, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but you can see the line through the paper. We are actually going to glue in four different spots, but for this initial step, we're just going to glue three. We will go back and, and glue the fourth one later. Take a little bit of glue. And you're going to put it right here, and right here, and right here. So those three points line your piece up. Try to get it as straight as you can. And glue it down. Again, in the middle, make sure you stay on this side, on this corner, and on the point. Working your way around here. Because the tissue paper is so thin, sometimes the glue will go through to your work surface. Um, if that's the case, you might want to stop, wipe it off. Um, the other option is to work on a piece of wax paper or plastic which you can change out if you need to. As long as you use just little dabs of glue, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. But just be aware of that and make sure it doesn't start sticking down to your surface.
get to this piece, the seventh piece, I'm going to try to line it up with your first piece a little bit. So right there, you want it to be kind of straight. Shouldn't be too much of a problem as long as you've stayed straight as you went around. Do the same with this one. You're going to line it up with that piece and that piece. So there's your star. We're almost finished. Now if you notice the very last piece we glued on is on top of two pieces instead of on top one side and under the other, which is why we didn't glue our fourth point around. So you just need to very carefully take the underneath one, put it on top. And then you also need to kind of fold it up and glue it to that piece. Same three points. There we go. Now the very last step is to glue these overlap points all the way around. So just fold it up. A little glue there. drying out here. back to the beginning. So there it is, my completed star. And you can see the glue points and they may show a little bit in the window. It's because the tissue paper is so thin um, that wouldn't show as much if you were using kite paper. Um, I will put it up in the window after it dries and show you what it looks like shining in the sun. You can put your star in the window with a small piece of double-sided tape. Thank you so much for watching this video. I've always enjoyed making Waldorf stars. They're so colorful up in a sunny window. And while we made this one all one color, you can certainly play around and make, do a two colored star or make each point a different color for a rainbow star. See you next time. Bye.